Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48's World. That's right, I'm checking in, checking in with you all once again. I know I've been gone for about seven months, almost a year. So I thought I'd just pop back in, have a little fun with some scenarios of some things going out there in those Atlanta streets. And I thought I'd start back with Candy Burry. Y'all remember her. She's still on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't do those um, reviews anymore because they got rid of my girl, Nene B. Yes, you know, I was riding high for Nene and Phaedra. And I even kind of like Kim Zosie at, at times. But it got boring. And I thought, no, I need to start talking about, start talking about Portia and her mess. But just... Let's just get on into this video. All right. Child. That dog on Bertha. That's the one on the right hand side. The little chub chubby. Chub chubby cheeks. Look like a little chill mop. Honey. And that's when she is two feet high. That's Miss Bertha Wilcox. Where's that Bertha? I don't know. It's her last name. That Nora Wilcox. And then Bertha Jones. <coughs> Either way. We're talking about the OLG game women and the restaurant now you know we had to always be fit to be tied with mama joyce okay because she always started stuff and i was right there for it okay but it's not her today that started stuff it's that person in the middle miss bertha with the stripes on looking how cute as she can possibly be yes honey she up there trying to mess up somebody's marriage allegedly all in fun. We're talking about Mendeecees and Yandy. Um, I think they were on Love and Hip Hop New York or I'm not really sure because I didn't really get too much into that as well. But Mendeecees were down here in Atlanta fairly recently and visit the OLG Gang restaurant. Okay, not probably that one, but probably one downtown. But either or, it's another here nor there. It was just Southern cuisine that was being uh, served up to them, and especially Mendeecees. Honey, that's a beautiful family, ain't it? Beautiful family. That's Miss Yandy and they two kids, honey, looking how cute as they can be. Cutest couple, all right? Cutest couple for the year 2000 and something. On her birthday, so she ain't care nothing about that. They can be happy all they wanted to be. But Miss Bertha said, let Yandy slip up. Let us slip up one time. Because Mandisi got a home. Okay, he got a home to come to. All right, she going to make her home his home. <laughs> I said, Candy, get your, uh, get your Aunt Bertha. Get your Aunt Bertha. But if y'all don't really believe what I'm trying to tell y'all, and it's a cute little story I'm trying to spin. It ain't true, but it could be. All right. I get this story from Atlanta Black Star. Okay. We got Mandeecees. Uh, he was uploading an Instagram reel while he was attending uh, Candy Boris's family restaurant, the Old Lady Game, doing which the reality star, Aunt Bertha Jones. Okay. That's Miss Aunt Bertha sitting up there on the right hand side, hugging Todd. Okay. And she still got her left and right eye on Miss Todd. But she was sitting up there trying to make a pass. Yes. A little season behind, trying to flirt, trying to be a cougar. I was like, Miss Bertha, Miss Bertha, okay, we need you, our eyes on deck, watching out for Todd Tucker, okay? They call him Tiny Tim, but you know it just is what it is. But I'm talking about that young man right there, and Miss Bertha over to the left, trying to get her little sweet thing on. I don't know what Miss Bertha was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking, but she, she knew she can't handle that young guy. I said, Miss Bertha, have you took your Viagra today? Have you took your Viagra today? Trying to mess with Mendeecees. And he kind of joked in on a little fun fun too. And then Yandy was kind of playful with it as well. She put her little spin on it like, shoot. Miss Bertha got a home. She know how to cook. She knows she get that good, 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 good love. Man, I got to watch out. I got to watch out. But if I lose, I'd rather lose to Miss Bertha than these young cats out here. Okay, these young kitty cats. Because Miss Bertha don't play. She don't play. And I'm like, damn, ain't Miss Bertha married? Okay. And she trying to send out hints like that. And you know how Mama Joyce said, her daddy was a hoe. Her mama was a pimp. 
or it was a pimp mama was a hoe. I don't know. Okay, that might have been from another scene, but it is what it is. I think she was talking about Todd Tucker, mother, uh, mother at the time. I'm talking about his daddy was a pimp. Yeah, and her mama was a hoe. Y'all remember Miss Sharon, girl? But that's another here, nor there. Make sure you rest in heavenly peace, okay? But we talking about Miss Bertha. So let's get on into the article that a lot of Black Star had put out. Um, it was uh, dropped on August the 19th. And the author of this particular piece uh, was written by Diamond June, okay? It goes to read as a caption. He got somewhere to sleep. Annie Burris' aunt makes a pass at loving hip hop Atlanta star Man DC's. Yandy responds, okay? Yandy Smith Harris appeared to have competition regarding her husband Man DC's Harris after the music producer gained an unexpected or unsuspected admirer while visiting Candy Burris' family restaurant Old Lady Game. In an initial Instagram reel shared on Wednesday, the 18th of August, Harris is seen standing in between Burris's two aunts, Bertha Jones and Nora Wilcox, as Jones began to playfully flirt with the father of four. Okay? The father of four. I was like, Candy, get, get on Bertha. Get on Bertha. She's trying to tell her, tear up a hat. Oh, what you gonna do with a Candy? What you gonna do, girl? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Jones said, and she physically gestured towards Real cause she got a husband. I ain't got no husband. So if he gets put out of the house, he got somewhere to sleep at. But no, wait a minute, Bertha. I'm, I'm back way back when, when it could have been like the fourth or fifth season, Candy was on. I thought you were married, girl. Girl, I thought you were married. Now you're trying to swing with the young folks. And Bertha, are you taking your medication? Girl, are you on blood pressure pill? Are you on blood pressure pill? Girl, are you on Viagra? Because you're going to need it, honey. Because you're either going to catch a heart attack or a stroke. Messing with somebody that young. Or you might get him a heart attack or stroke. Depending on how you stroking him. Okay, I don't know, Mr. Murphy. I don't know. I don't know, Bertha. We might need to check with the physicians to see are you fit and strapped to be sitting up there trying to handle something like that as a man in Medesis, Okay. Cause he got the good, he got the good, good, good look. Cause you see, yeah, it ain't left behind again. He has not left him. But going back to the article, it said um, Harris then joined in on the phone by telling everyone on social media, "I tell her, listen, as long as she got a home, I got somewhere to sleep." The loving hip hop star continued by saying, "If his wife were to slip up." The old lady gang don't play no games, Jones said as she reiterated Harris' initial sentiments. You slip up, you snooze. Then the other sister was chiming in, saying, you snooze, you lose. So she's playing into the playfulness of Nora trying to catch a young guy who is definitely married. Okay, I'm like, man, when you start messing with Mary, man, girl, when you start messing with Mary, wait, man. Are you telling on yourself that you do this when you was young, Miss Bert? Did you did you do it when you was young? What you playing with other people, uh, husbands, Miss Bert? But anyway, going back to the article, it says uh, towards the end of the recording, Jones advised Smith Harris to straighten up before she loses out on her man. I Miss mean, Bert trying to be the clean old woman, clean old woman. Hey, y'all know what I'm talking about? That song, you know what I'm talking about, girl. Well, I'm going to be no better right around now talking about, oh, she bought the car, the clothes, the everything he had been, because that, that ain't right. I don't like that song at all. Okay. But Miss Bertha said, as we lay, Shirley Murdoch, honey, as we lay, yes, we forgot about the pain we would cause. Yes, she did. She just worried about herself at that time and her feelings. But then, uh, going back to the article, it says, is, um, before she loses out on her man, you snooze, you lose, you better straighten up. So Miss Bertha already put Miss Yandy on point. Okay, she's trying to tell her, look, if you don't want to keep him happy, he can always come to me. And you know Aunt Bertha can cook. Cook her ass all clean. Honey, probably pay the bill. I don't know. So Yandy, you better tighten up, girl. You better tighten up. 
And then it goes on to say, Harris kept the punches coming when he captioned the hilarious clip. Old Lady Gang said, as long as they have at home, I have somewhere to sleep at. And don't slip up, Yandy. Smith, beautiful ladies at Old Lady Gang. Many hours follow her husband's uploads. Uh, Smith Harris is finding how she may be doomed because of all the pulse. Uh, Pulse Jones has on her. She jokingly expresses she showed love to the two women. Oh man, I can't compete with that. They fine, they good cooks, and got all the experience. I'm doomed. Love them. <laughs> and yeah, the problem saying, look at here, look at here, honey. You can have them. Just leave the money, okay? Because if he ain't liking what's stroking over him, you gonna take them in Berkeley. You gonna take them, honey. Send them back when you do. All right, ride that pony if you want to. So I don't even have to. Okay, that's just me, not in this article. If we go back to the article, it says, in addition to Smith Harris' comments, a multitude of fans warned the mother of three to watch out. Trust, Mandy don't want no smoke from them. Too cute. Another one commented, they're going to feed you good, too. Watch out, Yandy. They cook, cook, okay? That's right. It's going to come out looking like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Some kind of life, you know, Mendeecees always and I always have and probably will continue to have a nice physique. If you keep, keep messing around with that cougar burper, honey, he's going to be looking like, uh. Fred Sanford with the belly, honey. <laughs> Fred Sanford with the belly running over, okay? I don't know, honey. Good cook, good loving, good conversation. Yanny, you might be dumb, girl. You for real. Honey, they are for real. They would take your man, honey. It might be tag came in over there. So you better watch. You better watch it. Come in. They used to say, hey, as long as they got a home, meaning he ain't got to pay no rent. He ain't got to pay no utility bills. They got him. He going to be a kept man. Yeah, child, you ain't, you ain't got a chance, baby. You ain't got a chance. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, Yandy, they're trying to steal your man, girl. Yandy, better watch these beautiful ladies. Looks to me, they trying to snatch him up. Who ate smile and all, okay? Lord, I tell you the truth. Then it goes on to say, Mendice, well, Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker, opened up the first Old Lady Gang restaurant in 2017 in Atlanta, Georgia, on a, in honor of the escape singer's mom, Joyce Jones, and her two aunt, Bertha Jones and Nora Wilcox, Southern Comfort Cooking. Following the success of the restaurant, the couple debuted debuted an OLG concession in 2018 in the State Farm Arena a few months after they opened their second location at the Camp Creek Market in Metropolitan Atlanta. Since then, Burris has announced that OLG will be coming to reality television after Bravo's network picked up the couple's spinoff series. She wrote in a lengthy post, I'm so excited that at Bravo TV announced our Old Lady Gang series is coming later this year. I was sad last year when it got put on hold because of COVID. I'm thankful for the blessing to be able to get back to it. Y'all already have seen how hilarious Mama Joyce can be, Aunt Nora and Aunt Bertha can be. But just wait until you meet some of our teammates at the OLG. Or their team employees. I promise that you will be entertained at Must See TV. I like Panda Girl. Go and get your coin. Go and get your coin. But as loud as it's being spoken on them streets and quiet as I'm trying to keep it over here, Candy. Girl, they talking about your restaurant is in a toilet. Okay? You got so many different uh, violations on those restaurants, girl. Look. Stop hiring who you hire, girl. Put some professionals in there. Don't let Todd be supervising on anything. Go on and get you somebody who knows about the business, who knows how to keep those uh citations in check where everything is crystal clear. You can eat off the flow with no contamination type of cleaning over there. So that's all I got to say. It was just a too cute story. I could not wait or I could not pass up. To talk about, honey. You got these coupons over here. And you know Bertha got some money. Kakanda definitely been financing this. She got her social security, her pension. Child, please. Bertha is sad. So if she want to take care of Mendeecees or any other young 
uh, stay all you not there. Look her up, guys. Look her up. Because it's here like she's looking at young men. She ain't looking at nobody in her age group. That's for sure. I know her as a trip. Beautiful soul, honey. <laughs> well, watch out. She may take your man. All right. But that's all I got for this particular video. As you can, take, as you can tell, it was very lighthearted. Very playful. And no malicious intent was included on any of the partakers I was talking about. Okay? Love them all. Wish them well. And I will see y'all on my next video. Bye-bye.